Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. Finally, Team of the Season is over. We can finally put it to the side. We have a brand new promo in FIFA 21 and it is called Festival of Football. Based around the Euros and the Copa America, I believe it is. So based around all the international football going on over the next couple of months. And the Euros start today, so I'm so excited for that one. So let's waste no time, get straight into this one. We're checking out the Swiss man at the absolute brick wall in the midfield, Dennis Sicaria. <laughs> It really was starting to feel like it was dragging on and on and on. No content being released by EA. It's the same players, you know, getting a bit boring, a bit stale. And now we have these chaps in packs. Festival of Football for Path to Glory. Essentially, I believe these get upgrades based on wins. So if, for example, Havertz makes it through to the final and they win the Euros, he will be like a 98, 99 overall card with 5 star, 5 star. I believe that last win is a 5 star, 5 star upgrade. So super exciting, super different. I don't think we've had much like this in the recent years. And now some crazy looking cards. As I said, we're checking out Zakaria or Zakaria in this one. But we've got like some Vinicius Jr., Gnabry, Griezmann, Havertz, Akuna looks absolutely mental. Phil Foden has one for the English boys. Drop me a like if you think it's coming home, guys. And Forgan Hazard and some insane cards. I'll be trying to try out as much of them as possible. We also have an objective. I believe it's Ericsson, which I'm not touching. Experts, lad, don't want to go there. And a couple of SBCs, Yotta and a Mario Goethe. But enough waffling. Let's check out Zakaria's in-game stats. The big man himself is six foot three, medium, medium, three star, three star. And the attribute straight away, dribbling, agility, balance, a little bit on the low side. The rest of dribbling stats are great. The reactions, the ball control and the composure are very, very nice. I'm hoping the agility balance don't hinder him too much. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't turn like a truck, essentially. That is what I'm worried about. I have given him a shadow chem style, so the pace goes up to 99, 99. Absolutely rapid. For a man who's six foot three with maxed out pace, you cannot go wrong. Going forward, finishing a tap position aren't actually too bad for a CDM. Shot power being 93 is nice. We all know having high shot power, you stand a better chance of scoring goals. At least that's from my past experience. 79 long shots, so maybe won't be pinging any with this uh, with this chap here. Passing wise, vision's nice. Short pass, long pass, all tick boxes, happy days. Uh, yeah, that agility and balance. You probably could try and boost it up with an engine, but I feel like I'm playing him as a CDM and a low CDM. So I want the defending to be as high as possible. With a Shadow Chem style, we go to 99 interceptions, 98 defensive awareness, 99 and 99 stand tackle and slide tackle. Man, the man is an absolute brick wall. 88 stamina, 95 strength and 97 aggression. I'm expecting an absolute warrior in the midfield. I want to be winning every single tackle I'm going in for. Nobody is going to outmuscle this chap. Player traits, we've only got playmaker CPU AI, which is an interesting one because looking at the man's stats, it doesn't really, you know, playmaker doesn't really, <laughs> isn't really screaming out at me, but I mean, it is what it is, right? So that is the card. Those are the attributes. Let's check out the team that this man is going to be rocking with. Red, team of the season, Kylian Mbappe. I got super lucky. I choked Elite 3 last weekend and I got gold one. First pick was off black. I was thinking, okay, I'll probably get the Vrij next or the Bridge or whatever his name is. Uh, but no, we got Kylian. I'm not gonna lie, I did backflip a little bit. I was super hyped for it. So he was in this team. Same with Silas Wemekatuka. These two will be our two strikers. And then we got Vieira, Kante, St. Max, come, mate. How many games has this guy played? 482 for me. Mad. Most of them have been substitutes, though, in all fairness. And then the back four is the usual guys that you see in most of my videos. In regards to custom tactics, we are rocking press after possession loss, five width and seven depth. The formation is a 4 3 1 2. Zakaria, Zakaria. Don't know how to pronounce his name. It's going to be that middleman. He's the guy who's going to be slightly deeper than Vieira and Kante. So super defensive midfield three. It'd be interesting to see who kind of stands out the most. I feel like Zakaria offers more going forward. So I'll be trying to make runs automatically by holding left bumper, trying to push him off the pitch. St. Max in the pocket. Silas and Matt Mbappe up top. I forgot Silas' surname's actually changed now. I wonder if they update that on FIFA. I'm not sure if they will. But Silas and Killian up top and the back four stays the same. As of 6.49, uh, just after the promo release, Zakaria is going for about 200. I'm pretty certain he's going to keep dropping looking at this. 270, there's a bid there. So I'd probably say to say 250 to 300 is the ballpark. Obviously, when lightning rounds come out, that may change. I sniped him for 272 on the 59th minute, like literally as the cards got released. So I may have got lucky. I can imagine he's probably going to stay about 200 to 300k. 
depending on how well Switzerland do, I'm not actually sure what their group is looking like. But as soon as the first game is played, if Switzerland win, the card may go up, prices will fluctuate quite a bit. But that is the team, guys. I'm excited to get in some gameplay. I'm going to play about four different matches, I think. My skill total is almost 2300, so it's going to be sweaty. We're going to truly test out Zachariah, every attribute that this man has, see if he is worth the price. And is he the centre defensive midfield brick wall that we need in this team? I'm going to pile all the clips into a little montage for you guys and I'll catch up with you afterwards. Alrighty then, two goals, one assist in four matches. One of those matches my opponent gave me the win, so we're not gonna count that one. Three solid games, super tough opponents. That last match was mad. Sick player, I felt some of his goals were a bit jammy. I'm not, I'm not saying some of them looked a bit jammy, but overall really good player, really good game of FIFA. But we came out on top in every single game, which you love to see. And this man, my first opinions, I'm pretty certain like the first touch he took, I don't know exactly who he was against, but he outmuscled somebody 
and he's just a brick wall. You can't get round him. If he's holding the ball, you're holding left trigger, there's no way this man is getting tackled unless they slice through his Achilles heel. So super strong on the ball. Pace is great. I didn't notice the agility and balance being too bad. It may be noticeable later down the line, but I feel like the reactions and the rest of dribbling stats help uh, kind of like even it out. Defensively, super solid. Stand tackles, slide tackles, as you would expect, both being 99 are top tier. Going forward, I mean, he scored a goal. He did, and he scored a penalty. That penalty, by the way, I aimed over there to the right, and it went straight down the middle. So, yeah, having uh, 48 penalties, definitely don't take penalties with this man. So I wouldn't trust him going forward. If you're going to get him, play him as a CDM. It's where he's meant to play. His stats are screaming out solid CDM. An overall super fun card to use. If this man gets an upgrade, he's going to get better and better and better. So I'm going to be keeping a close eye on Switzerland's games and seeing how well they do and if he is going to get the upgrade or not. I'm not going to sell him yet. I feel like I may have got lucky with a 272k uh, buy now price. But overall super solid card. Really enjoyed this one, guys, and I hope you did too. Anyway, guys, let me know down below what you think of the rest of the Festival of Foot promo. Some sick cards. I will try and pick up a few more now to try them out. No promises, though. The Euros do kick off in an hour, so I want to get ready to watch that. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy.